What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. If you're a new or returning Guardian in need of some high stat artifice armor to perfect those triple and quadruple 100 stat builds, then you won't want to miss out on this week's epic artifice armor farm. This week, the Spire of the Watcher returns as the weekly dungeon rotator, a dungeon that is renowned for offering high stats on all of its armor drops in both its normal and master variations. But through its master mode, you will be able to farm for artifice armor, which provides you with an additional stat slot, which can give you a lot of flexibility when you're putting together those perfect builds. Since the Hierarchy of Needs is the featured exotic for this dungeon, any of you out there who have not gotten this exotic boat or its catalyst, well then this will be an excellent opportunity to get it. Master difficulty is set at 1840, with your maximum efficiency set to 1820, so you will need to be at least 1815 if you attempt this on master difficulty. While the Spire of the Watcher is a bit more difficult than some of the other dungeons, it does offer an extremely lucrative farm out of its first encounter. By repeatedly farming this encounter, you'll be able to snag helmets, gloves, and boots along with the Terminus Horizon machine gun, the Long Arm Scout Rifle, and the 7th Seraph Auto Rifle. I do find the final encounter to be the most prosperous since the final boss does drop multiple items, giving you more chances at snagging some high stat artifice armor. With that being said, the final boss encounter is quite a handful, requiring you to connect the series of nodes while dealing with exploding harpies and overload minotaur. It's not exactly going to be a cakewalk. The first encounter though is much more tame and easier to complete. You'll have to connect multiple nodes throughout three separate floors as you ascend the spire. Each floor has two separate sets of nodes. With one or two guardians handling these nodes, with the other guardian handling the adds, this encounter can be done and over with in less than five minutes. This week, solar and strand abilities will be surged in master mode, as will heavy machine guns, giving these a 25% increase in damage, which will stack on top of weapon surge mods. There will be overload champions contained within this first encounter, but with heavy machine guns getting surged, they'll fall pretty easily, especially when using the Thunderlord, since it intrinsically stuns overloads. More often than not, hand cannons miss the mark on stunning overloads, but even still, the Lumina will be a great addition to your weapon loadouts throughout each encounter of this dungeon to give both you and your teammates health and bonus damage. The next few weeks will feature the older dungeons, which do not offer artifice armor. So if you're a new light or a returning guardian or just any guardian in need of better armor, then be sure to take advantage of this amazing farm while you still can. To which I wish you all the best of luck throughout your week of farming. Let me know in the comments how it's going and let me know what build you decided on taking. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.